Okay, welcome back. So we did do some theory concept about uh, dynamic groups. Now let's do a quick lab. So a quick rundown of this lab. We are going to create an instance. And through this instance, we are going to see if this instance has an access to a bucket where documents are stored. So you can imagine this bucket as maybe a document stored stored by the legal department. And there are certain departments who need to access those. Could be your HR, could be your marketing. So instead of uh, trying to send documents back and forth, what legal could do is create a bucket for different departments which have re related legal documents. And as they get updated, they could copy it to that bucket. And the other departments are given access to that kind of uh, documents and so any of the servers are part of this dynamic group will have access to those buckets so let's do this and you you'll get a better idea of uh, how this whole thing works so first of all we need an instance so I'm going to create a dynamic group instance you can name anything uh, it doesn't have to be that This process we've done multiple times. We, I already have an existing virtual cloud network which I've been using for a while. Uh, you can keep everything default here. Create the instance like, you know, like always what we've done. So while this instance is being provisioned, uh, what we need to do is we need to download an Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Python uh, Software Development Kit, SDK. So you can go to the site on the GitHub, download the SDK, which would be this one here. Right click this, and you can download that. I've already done it, so go ahead and do that while this is being created. As soon as this is provisioned, we will, the, the downloaded SDK, we are going to copy it to this instance. We are going to unzip that we're going to install the SDK. And then we will have some Python code which we are going to execute. That Python code will try to read a document from a bucket. In our case, we could say it's a legal department and it's trying to read that. And it will fail because it uh, we've not made it a part of a dynamic group. So, so we'll go through that process. Let me... In the meantime, I uh, start up the Win SAP. Okay, so it has been provisioned. So let's uh, copy that uh, file. So I'm going to connect. Okay, so I'm logged in. And this is where on my desktop I had downloaded the software development kit. So it's going to copy that there. I'm already logged into the instance. So this is where it's copied. I'm going to unzip that. So basically it creates a directory structure with different files. So I'm going to move to this directory here. And it's got different file. This is the file we are going to use to uh, install the SDK. Uh, but before we could do that, we need to download. Uh, we need to download PIP so we can install the SDK. So this PIP is like a package management system. So you can, it helps with installing and managing your software packages. So I just got it installed. The command I used was sudo easy install PIP. Now what we need to do, we need to, let me clear. We need to install this package here. And the command we are going to use is this. 
PIP, PIP install OCI, which is an asterisk means everything before PY2, and then it's going to use this. Uh, so So here's the, the difference. What I needed to do before I could run this is I needed to become root. So I'm going to do that here now. Let me clear. I'm going to run this again. So it's installed. Now we are going to prepare our our bucket. So let's go and we are going to create an uh, bucket. I already have a bucket, but uh, maybe I'll just create a bucket, another bucket. Or maybe I'll name this the legal bucket, where the legal documents are going to be stored. Now I want to upload a document. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to upload this document so I already have a document this document has nothing other than the word hello that's all there is nothing to it I just wanted to show you how uh, you can read this so now we've installed the Python code we have a bucket with an object so let's see if this instance we created can access that. But in order to do that, we need a, a Python script to read to this document. So let me get that uh, added. Okay, I'm going to name this document hello.py. This is a Python script. And this is the script. So basically, what it's going to do is it's going to import Oracle Cloud OCI import OS compartment ID is the compartment ID for database system it uh, ends with it starts with AAA ends with WH3A AAA ends with WH3A. The bucket name, I need to change this as legal bucket. document I believe it's the same I forgot to upload let me upload that here it's, so I've uploaded the document test text everything else remains the same so you're giving which compartment ID you want to connect to and uh, then it's going to what it's going to do it's going to list the detail what see what you see after print it's going to list the buckets it's going to list the namespace compartment id object that we get from the bucket so basically the text text 
a test text object and if there is anything written to that you're going to see that here that's all all it does here so let me see if i can run this permission denied so I need to make this an executable got this uh, Python script we see what it can display so it runs into an error saying there is no authorization the reason is this instance is still we don't have a dynamic group yet so we need to create a dynamic group so let's go back to our console dynamic group create dynamic group I'm going to name this as test dynamic group test all of the following routes so any instance so in this case uh, if the instance is part of this compartment then it would have uh, all the access whatever this group has so so I need to find the okay this is what I'm looking for is the compartment ID so we have created a dynamic group we are saying all instance in the compartment ID so and so should have whatever access this group has so now you know as we've learned in the past creating the group alone does not give you access we need to add policies to this so we are going to add policies which is going to grant uh, different privileges to the dynamic group so I'm going to say test policy test we are going to keep policy current all the time so we have to add the statements what this policy uh, grants what privileges to the dynamic group so first one is allow dynamic group test dynamic group to inspect bucket in compartment database system so any bucket in that database system it can inspect it can look at the metadata of that bucket let's add another statement allow dynamic group test dynamic group to inspect objects in the compartment database system so any objects which are in any of the buckets it can inspect so again it can get the details about who created it when it was created and what size it is and so on and so forth so the final is allow dynamic group test dynamic group to read object and compartment so it can read object now also but keep in mind it does not have the policies to write in it so now after we create this let's see if we can go back what happens so we got this error message when we ran this command and now it is giving us all the details which in the Python script we are getting the object that we get from the bucket is hello because that's all it's in that text test document if we were to do a VI of our code basically what it's saying is you you print the list of buckets so there are two buckets currently so 
So we are seeing a legal bucket and we are seeing a test bucket. So if there were many buckets, we would see all of them. And it's giving the details who created it. In this both cases, it's the same user ID. It's a e tag, which should be different because they are two different buckets. And they were created at two different times, but they are created in the same compartment. If there was an object in uh, this compartment, you would have seen that too. So, so the last part is print object that we get from the bucket. So it's it's giving us that object object that we get from the bucket, and what we get is actually just a hello. If you had a 200-page document, you would get to see that here. So this just proves that if now going forward, any instance which is created in this, uh, if I were to go back to the instance, and you know you could have multiple servers added to your for database system. This is maybe your uh, HR department. So multiple servers you add here, and you know you add different functionalities to the servers. But if you need to get that documents from that object storage, that bucket, you will be able to get from all the buckets which are listed, and you should be able to access those. So that's the beauty about dynamic groups.